All right, so your video is totally done. You've got all the editing done to it that you want and it's exactly the way that you want it. So how do you get it to other people? Well, that's what we're gonna take a look at here and there are multiple options that we've got. So once you're on this screen, once you've gotten here, either by finishing up your video or through the Screencastify Chrome extension button, you can of course open up your recordings and then open an individual video. And so by doing that, see here we are at this, at this screen. So once you're here, what you wanna do is use the share button. Of course, the share button is the one with the three little dots and the two lines connecting them. And whenever you click on that, you've got multiple options on how to share your videos. So let's take a look at this first one, which is the Google Drive link. So if you've already uploaded your video to Google Drive, what's nice is that you can click on this button that says get link. And notice once this shows up, now we have this link right here that you can use. And so it's automatically set up to people who have the link to the video can view it. And you've got some, some other options here. You can make it a private video, you can make it more public. Sticking with the unlisted link is probably a good way to go. And so once, you're, once you've done, with, done that, you can click the copy link button and now you have that link copied. And so you can paste that link into anywhere. So if I open up a new browser tab, notice here I've just pasted that same link in right there. You can paste that link into an email and send it to somebody. You can put it on your class website. So there's a variety of things that you can do with that link to be able to share it with other people. So that's one option is to, is to share the Google Drive link. Now the second option, once you've generated this link, remember we clicked that get link button a second ago, you may have noticed that over here on the right, we have this new little icon. This little green icon is a Google Classroom icon. So if you use Google Classroom with your students and you want to share one of your videos automatically to Google Classroom, this is kind of a, almost like a little hidden feature. It's not, you know, it doesn't write pop up um, totally until you, until you generate that link. But because it's there, we can click on this link right here and then we can decide which class we want to share it with. See how it pops this, this little window up. And so you select a class. You can choose the action that you want to use, which is, you know, do you want to create a new assignment, like a graded assignment? Do you want to ask students a question that they respond to? Do you want to create an ungraded announcement? And so once you've done that, you hit go. And then here is the assignment window or the question window or the announcement window. And notice that it goes ahead and gives you a title that's based on whatever it is that you just recorded. And so you can of course edit that if you want to. Uh, you can add your instructions, which is always a good idea if you're using Google Classroom is to make sure you have some instructions, especially for students that aren't there in class. Change the due date, change the topic if you have multiple topics. You can of course assign it to specific students or to another class as well. And then once you're done there, you can either hit assign, you can schedule it for later or just save it as a draft. And so that's kind of a nice thing that you can do with Google Classroom. So you've got the Google Drive link, you've got Google Classroom, but then you can also publish it to your YouTube channel. Now you have to have a YouTube channel already set up ahead of time. And so you click on the please select button to find your YouTube channel that you wanna use. And of course, if it's the first time that you're doing this with Screencastify, you want to allow it so that Screencastify can manage your YouTube channel for you. And then you click on the channel that you want. And then once you're done, then you hit upload and that will, and then again, you can choose, do you want it to be a publicly available YouTube video, an unlisted one, or just a private one? So being able to do all three of those things, create a Google Drive link, share it to Classroom, publish to YouTube, those are all really, really nice features. In the next video, we're gonna talk about how you can export your video. So if you wanna save your video as a file and then put it someplace else, do something else with that video file, this is gonna show you all the steps that you need to take.